Here's the latest weekly update for all things radiance field methods like Gaussian and triangle splatting. One of the most requested features for Gaussian splatting arrived from NVIDIA in the form of a beta in Isaac Sim 5 and Omniverse version 107.3 in the repository of 3D Gaussian ray tracing and 3D Gaussian unscented transform. Additionally, the NVIDIA team added a USDZ converter for 3D GRUT and a new playground adding support for physically based rendering materials. Xgrid added their first firmware update to the K1 and L2 Pro since January and capture sizes are getting reduced by 5 times. Gaussian splatting viewer Godzilla Pro has introduced the ability to select the same three control points in scenes and align them together with a single click, making creating time lapses significantly easier. Bentley Systems added an experimental 3D tile and SPZ support to its 3D GS implementation inside of iTwin Capture. MX Studio released an update patching some bugs and adding free Pro accounts through August. If you want to train Gaussian Spike on Mac, I have a super easy tutorial to get started. IO splatting has been a hot topic with Jonathan Stevens' video taking off, showing the latest radiance field representation. Simultaneously, two independent web viewers for triangle splatting have been published. Wikipedia for locations company Funes has published a large data set for people to try and includes both images and cold map data so you can go straight into training. The Sculpting Time exhibition in New York City from Project Blank featured some large-scale Gaussian spying performances from Noel Mpeg and Nate Moeller. I spoke to two members of the Play Canvas team about their entire ecosystem including Supersplat in a free webinar here. They also released Supersplat 2.7, bringing self-organizing Gaussian loading and rendering, in addition to also smoothing out file exports. I also spoke to emerging startup Schemata, who is serving federal applications with Radiance Fields. That's it for this week, so hit subscribe to stay on top for the rapidly rising world of Radiance Fields. If you'd like to learn more about Radiance Fields, consider checking out RadianceFields.com, where I am tracking all of the companies and individuals building, creating, and deploying Radiance Fields across all industries.